Hey guys, Duke Park Thousand. I do an update on the uh, Cub Cadet here. Um, got the air yeah, coming up from eBay that I ordered. And I got my uh, little rubber duct piece that goes in the uh, air cleaner as well. Um, I actually got that just now. I put them in and uh, they fit really good. Let's see if I can get some closer shots here. And if you're a Cub Cadet guy, you'll know the, uh, the rubber here, this rubber here, it goes from the blower into the... Uh, you know, air filter. Um, I just got that now. I put it in, hoping for the worst that it wouldn't fit, and it fits pretty nice. It's nice and snug. And um, the air cleaner, as far as the housing, you can see the difference here. This one's got the uh, like a teardrop, like I said, and here, and this is the one that was on it. So you can see the size difference here, and this one's round, plus it. Uh, it actually protrudes, you know, I'm not really sure exactly where here, but I think it was right about here As far as being mounted on the carburetor where this one it recesses back and That was my problem. I had with the uh, <clears throat> side panel here So uh, But uh, yeah, let me, let me throw on the side panel Get this on these are kind of a pain, especially if you don't know how to do them, because they never just slide into place. But, uh, this one I got to fit pretty good, and then uh, I have bolts here. I don't have any wing nuts like they're supposed to be, because uh, I didn't have side panels on it when I got it. Okay. And the uh, spring, just to uh, keep the two panels together. So you can see right here, let me go on this side so you can see. Uh, my father's doesn't have this spring. Of course, I just made one anyway. You know, it just keeps them tight. And uh, the hood and it looks pretty good. I actually haven't run it with the uh, panels on. I just started it to move it just now, but I didn't have an air filter and started fine. And it looks a lot better than it did without the panels on it, I think. So, uh, some people might not like the panels on, but uh, I think it makes a big difference. This one I had to beat because it was pushed in, so I just took a hammer and body hammer and kind of banged it out a little bit. It You can see all the dimples in it. I'm not really sure how I would smooth that up, but uh, now I'm not really that picky as far as that goes. But uh, so, I'd actually like to do a video of it driving around, but man, is it hot out! So, uh, but now I figured I'd do an update. I got my side panels on. I got the air filter cover. I got a, a new air filter. I got that hose. Um, that's pretty much it, other than if I want to either do a mower on this or if I'm going to complete the sleeve hitch three point back here. Because I do have that option as far as the link goes here, top link. Um, I just don't have the lower mount or the actual linkage. But uh, I could probably make one. And I put something on it. I don't really know. That's where I'm at right now. It's either I gotta find mower linkage in a mower, or I gotta do that and use it as a, you know, rigging to move whatever, because it has a lift on it. But uh, let me start it for you guys, and I'll turn it around.
that's good. Pretty happy with it. And I just gotta make the uh, the hood and the lights there stop rattling. I don't know if you can really notice it in the video. And it's crawling forward ever so quickly. But uh, now the track is awesome as far as engine wise and even the tranny. It's started every time since I put the battery in it. And, uh, it starts good too.